So just going to do a very quick tip on how to create repeating kind of tiled pattern um, sequences like this. So um, yes, yeah, so let's get going. Um, I'm going to first uh, get rid of what I've already got, like so, and then um, uh, yeah. So we've got this uh, uh, this uh, pipe, this uh, six-sided pipe here. And I'm going to create a mesh network with it. So we go create mesh network like so, and then I'm going to space out these objects, and I'm going to space them out so that I can actually fit another one of these things into the gap. So I can always adjust this later. This is mesh; you can do that. So we'll get about so far, and then over on uh, the mesh node here, there is a replicator, and I haven't done a tutorial on the replicator for years. So here's a replicator, and I'm just going to add a load of replicants, and then uh, the replicator has this cool pattern function, which allows you to offset every second node at the moment, uh, second point, it will be third point or fourth point if you change that number. So we can um, we can do that and then we can change the, uh, the, dis the offset distance here so we can kind of marry them back up together like so. Now I'm going to go back into the sheet and I'm actually going to space these out a little bit further just to make a little tiny gap between each one and then on the replicator we can do this and then just like so. So you get a tiny little gap between each hexagon like that. And that's kind of how you make patterns. Um, and then you can use, you could, you can always of course make a mesh and then put it into another mesh network to make large grids if you want to. Um, that's nice and easy. So there you go. But uh, basically it's just to show you the very useful pattern tools on the replicator node. So there you go.